Okay, hey, this is a uh, E-Rack, I mean a uh, E-Drum Rack, electronic drum rack, just the rack, and uh, I think it had $10 on shipping plus a $14.99, something like that. No drums, just what you see, just what you see here, yeah. And then I add it to that. These uh, drums here, which I, I clicked and sent him an offer of 120, and he accepted it. Uh, I didn't pay this amount. I gave 120. That's shipping and everything, and uh, that's everything you see here. The module, the wires, the drums, the cymbals. Yep. That's it. And then I added to that this pedal. This is the hi hat pedal for uh, 25 free shipping. And uh, all this is aluminum. It's, it's, it's made really good. And then I added to that these two here, two of them, that'd be $15 each. That way I can make a uh, double kicker, double bass, that way you can do a double bass drum roll or whatever. Okay, I finally made it to the drum painting section. And uh, if you watch the symbol one, you'll understand how, I gotta, how I'm going about this. But just in case you didn't, this is what I'm doing. I'm getting some paper towels. And I'm using this, uh, you know, this stuff here, this wax and tar remover to remove any kind of uh, waxes from the factory sometimes they mold all this and they'll put a wax inside the mold in case anybody has sprayed any kind of uh, you know after they own it they might have waxed it down I don't know why but just in case just a good thing to do uh, used to paint cars for a living we did it on the cars so get all the wax and stuff off before you can get started so that's what I'm doing wipe it down a little bit and then you got to let it just sit there and loosen up the wax you don't want to move you don't want to remove this fluid right away the solvent That may be long enough. Turn your rag over once in a while. Find a clean spot. This in here where it's starting to dry, I'm going to go back over it again, loosen it up, and then wipe the inside.
try not to handle it too much because then you're putting oils from your body on there too. Okay, that needs to dry a little bit. But meanwhile, I've done I've done the other ones. Um, I've still got to paint inside here and paint white inside here. But I want them all done today where they can dry overnight. I want them dry real good before I start painting and taping up and painting the inside part. But they're just silver looking. They're not real chrome looking. This is what I used. Of course, the caps never show comparison. See here? That's all right. I knew that. They haven't got that done yet, done right. Maybe someday the paint will look like the tops. Okay, and then we're going to scrub it, sand it with steel wool. This is the number three horse. You'll see it get dull right there. Then you move on. And we're going to sand the rubber part too, but not here. In here. Okay, I made it back around to the other side. Now I'm gonna scuff the middle part. Even though it's rubber, I'm still gonna scuff it to make sure that, and this paint here, or the white paint, I don't have it out here, but all of this paint is designed for plastic. And I just figured rubber, it's kind of close to plastic. It should work too. You could probably use sandpaper. I just I had steel wool. And still wool will work. Alright, now I gotta vacuum it.
Now I'm going to wipe back over it one more time with this to get any residue from sanding off of there. If you didn't have this, you could probably use some soapy water, but then you'd have to come back and take some clean water and make sure you get all the soap off. All right, I need to let that dry for a minute, and then we'll tape up the inside part. Okay, I made a template. This is what I used earlier on the other four drums, and I could just slide it on there, almost. down all the way around and I couldn't find a rubber band so I've made these little hair things tied them together works like a rubber band and check it one last time Make sure it's up high enough. Make sure the paper and the tape, that's what this is, is paper and, and tape. It's just been painted on. Oops. Okay, now this is gonna require three good coats. I've got a fan here I'm turning on. It's going to suck the air out right here. And I'm going to wear this where I don't breathe it. Shake it up real good, which had been shook from earlier. Just shake it up real good. Put on a thin coat. Oh, there's one more. No. Yeah, one more thing I need to do. I want to tape this up under here a little bit. I'm still going to get some overspray, but what I'll do is I'll come back with some flat black. Let's see, also, here's where you plug it in, your jack. I don't want any in there. Okay, 
Okay. Finally there. Just kind of dust it on. You don't want to put it on there thick. Maybe I'll put on the old glove. Okay, we need to let that sit for a minute or two. Let it harden up a little bit and then we're going to put two more coats. Okay, I gave that a few minutes to dry. Now this is the second coat. Make sure your can's moving whenever you spray. I don't know. Okay. That is coat number two. We're going to put one more on there, making it three. Okay, this is coat number three. And I'm gonna wet it down pretty good. I'm not not super heavy, but heavy. You could even say that was four. Okay, now that needs to dry overnight. But these are some that I've already done. They're waiting for tomorrow, along with that one I just sprayed. There's four of them, five. There's five of them, they all won't fit over here. But uh, then we're gonna paint the inside. I'm gonna make a template to where we can spray the inside. So these are all gotta sit overnight. And uh, there's a little heater on in here to kinda help dry them real good. You in the video are giving us a like or subscribing it makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?